Rain, rain, go away. Please come back another day. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. We have a championship to be played, and we are underway. Veronica Kudame comes out guns blazing. I say it all the time. If you see that pose, just run the other way. It, look, if it's Kuna Matova, if it's Layla Fernandez, whoever it is, the pose there on the return side of the net is very intimidating. And poof, can she really crack it? And she is showing who has the power in this one. Ekaterina is known for her power. She's an aggressive baseliner. The problem here is Kuna Matova, she owns a head-to-head -head because she can match her power on the baseline. She can match her serving ability. Look, don't forget, Kuna Matova led this tour amongst ace leaders for a couple seasons in a row. Now, I, f I do feel she's made changes on her serve where now she's not really trying to overpower you from the start. And of course, that's to reduce a lot of the double faults she used to make. But she can match the serving ability and power of a Katarina. She can match the baseline play, and she can mix it up at the net. I think she's a little bit more athletic than uh, a Katarina. And a Katarina, look, she really just wants to camp out on the baseline. I do think the short balls that Veronica is throwing at her is really frustrating her. It's really easy to game plan against Katarina. Now, look, yeah, easier said than done. I'll, I'll be honest, easier said than done. But someone who's versatile like Veronica, I think she's going to have her moments in this match. Now, the calls lately, it's in particular, the last few days across all tournaments have been pretty bad. Now, Katarina hits an ace, clearly an ace. Uh, the line judge said it wasn't. The review said it was. And she is fierce do you do not want to get a katarina fired up yeah i have a ton of highlight reels of a katarina and look whew, this rocket here from veronica kudamatova she had no chance of returning it and this is what's going to happen in this match a katarina a lot of times it's like she gets frozen and she can't cover these balls i don't know what's happening she drops the first set and look, she came back with a heat seeking missile herself and she would actually hold the first service game in the second set. She's going to have to hold it out here if she wants to force a third. How did Veronica take the first? Well, she's serving well. Four aces in any set is something Veronica can do. The problem is Katarina probably should have had four or five herself. Uh, she can't give free points to Kuna Matova with those double faults, which she's known to make a lot of. 13 winners from Veronica. You see the aggressiveness. Look, she might never get another chance to make a, a final. Finals are very tough to make, which is why I tell you guys all the time, Coco's the youngest player inside the top 10. You got to give her respect. She has more championships at by 18 than anyone in the top 10 had. Give her respect. It's tough to make a, a main tour championship. It's very tough. The draws are so good. The players are so athletic, so strong. The tennis game is just evolving so much where it's so tough to win. Uh, in terms of unforced errors at Katarina, she's going to have to lower those. Um, if she's to win this second set, she's going to need at least double-digit winners, reduce the unforced errors to single digits. And she's going to have to convert on break points. She's giving Kuna Matova too many break points. And, hey, she holds to start the second set. We're, we'll see if we'll have a third. Get your popcorn. Might be a ride.